believe in deliverance, it's not a time of sadness. Amen. You know, anytime you use the term deliverance, people are like, they start freaking out. They start freaking like, what are they going to do? And they got these visions of the exorcist and demons crawling on the wall and all this show and all that other stuff. That's not what deliverance is. Deliverance at the end of the day, really nobody can tell anybody they got delivered except you. See, because deliverance manifests in a lot of different ways. You can just sit there and say, oh, I got mine today. But let me tell you something. You can give that testimony. The fact of the matter is we're going to watch you because all we have to do is follow you. And when you stop doing what you've been doing, if that button that's been pushed on you every day is no longer there, then you can say, I'm delivered. Amen. See, I'm talking to people that already have the victory. Amen. Uh, I got to say that again. I'm talking to people that already have the victory. Amen. What we're doing today is just, you know how you tune up your car? Yeah. See, we're, we're going to a little tune-up. We need to just adjust the carburetor a little bit because sometimes, how many know we can get off just a little bit? And, and, and we may not think we're off. We may always point to somebody else that they're off, and therefore their off causes us to be off. You all know what I'm talking about? You yeah, Come on, let's just keep it real. We know that sometimes we think that the reason we act the way we act is because you acted the way you acted. But that's called, that, that's a sure enough sign that tells me that you, not the one that's against you, but you need the deliverance. Amen. In the kingdom, you're going to have to exercise in walking by faith, not by sight. See, sometimes we look more at how we're jacked up than the faith to be able to get free. And do a thorough work. See, I got news for you today. Your deliverance is actually working out something in you that needs to come out so you can serve him in the capacity that you need to serve him in. Yes. Don't look at deliverance as a negative thing. Look at it as a great thing. This is a good day. Hey, oh, happy day. Oh, happy. Now, that's it. Today's a happy day. <laughs> Some people don't want to fight because the fighting requires them to deal with themselves. We don't have weak Christians here. If you're a weak Christian, either stay here and get up to the heavyweight or just go somewhere. Ah! Flyweight. Have you ever noticed what flies are attracted to? Dimension. 
dimension, and that is a domestic, natural, fleshly dimension. You have, man, so watch this. Let me just agitate any of residual pride demons in you. You have no authority in the spirit over your wife. See, sometimes we get women who think they're more spiritual than their husband. I've been praying for you. I've been going there interceding. I've been a fasting for you. Now, finally, old boy's in the church, and he left you behind. He got the vision of the kingdom. He says, listen, you can do whatever you want. I'm going on with the apostle. We got some things to build and do. You over there still poking out your lip. I think I got more anointing. No, you don't. You got more. You know that you got is more demons. But I'm a prophetess. Right. And you can prophetess your way all the way to hell too. And when they got offended, he didn't. He didn't say, "Oh my God, I offended him." Oh, can I talk to you today? Is it okay? Are we okay? Let me tell you something. When somebody tells you you offended me, don't apologize. Why would I apologize to give you the word? Oh, you didn't hear what I said. No, no, no. We couldn't handle Jesus because we see Jesus as just loving. The white folks think he have blonde hair and blue eyes. Just blowing back. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and will give you rest. Enter thou into my kingdom, thou faithful and few. The straight is the way, your narrow is the path that leadeth unto the kingdom. Then all the black folks. Got dreadlocks. Looks like an NFL football player. Got African garbage. If that don't show that the church is sure enough racist. Oh. Bam! Lose the racism. Lose it quick before Tuesday, too. I've never seen so much racist. Talk about offended. White folks are offended because of race. racism causes offense. Did you see how they see? I, you know, okay, Jesus was offensive to them. You don't see Jesus going back and saying, you know what? <laughs> you Pharisees and said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I should have I meant to, I should have said it a different way. I'm sorry. I, I did come to you with the right spirit. No, I did. I came direct and hard and I gave you the word. What we want is we want somebody to stroke us first. Because we're not looking to get delivered. We're looking to lie down with you and have intercourse. Yes. I want to be romanticized. I, I want to be loved. I want to be stroked. Stroke my hair, Apostle. Stroke my hair before I release my gift. Release your gift and shut up. I can't. We can't. Nobody can do anything with anyone that's holding on to something that they're unwilling to let go of. Yes. You can sit here. You can pray, prophesy, worship, all that stuff. At the end of the day, you're just one bound worshiper. Yeah. Even, come on, let's keep it real. You know how many people that can, how many people prophesy out of offense? Oh, oh I'll get them back. <laughs> Give me the mic, I'll get you back. He who holds the mic releases the most offense. <laughs> I got you now. I'm going to release it on you. <laughs> you know, many people are casting spells with their offense. Yeah. 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 When you're offended, I'm offended. I'm not saying I'm offended. You're offended. Me. I didn't create a scandal. You are now. You're creating a scandal. To, to scandalize is to... Have you ever watched the soap operas? Yeah. The shows, I think they call them the show, so, show, what is soap operas, yeah, whatever. So, what, you know, things that come on, like, as the, as the stomach turns and all my demons, you know, all that stuff. When you're offended, 
and you create a scandal, and it's just like those scandals in those soap operas. Right. Okay, you create a scandal, and, 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 and you become a drama queen. Because right, right. now all the attention has to come to you. I'm offended. Anytime somebody says they're offended, you can be in a prayer meeting, and when they say they're offended, you'll stop praying and now go to the offended one because you don't want them to be offended. Right. I'm saying this. If you're going to be offended, be offended. Right. You didn't see that doesn't work well in just churchy church. But here's the thing. If you're offended, you know what? Grow up. That's it. That's it. Get delivered. If, you're all, if you've been saved for a moment and you're still offended, then that means that you just don't want to be free. Right. Now, you may go to a place where you don't know how to be free. I'll give you that. If you're here, you have no reason not to be free. Amen. The offender does not scandalize. The offended one does. And then what happens is when the one's offended, then all the ones that were there, then, then nobody wants to be around you. Do you understand when you're offended, nobody wants to be around you? Yeah. But then what happens is you're offended. Now you get offended because nobody wants to be around you. <laughs> right, right, right. Yes, Are you with me? Yeah. You're offended. That's now... Everybody, you're over there. Everybody knows you. You're the one person in the church manifesting. You think we don't see it? Right. <laughs> and everybody's over there. It's like eggshells. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> and that's how it is. Everybody's afraid. No, and then once you're offended, nobody can give you truth. Right. Yeah. 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 That's true. When you're offended, nobody can ever give you any more truth. So you will actually be able to, you, you're allowed to ride the wave of demonic bondage. Do you understand what I'm saying? Once you're offended, I can't tell you anything because the moment I tell you something, you're gone. You know what? You need to come out of the bed with your last bishop. Get out of bed. Let go of that soul tie. Let go of that with that, that perverted love affair you had with them. In the spirit, I'm talking about. Right, right. Just because they hurt you doesn't mean... Listen, just because one person, two people hurt you doesn't mean everybody wants to hurt you. There are some of us that love you. Don't hate on me because I love you because the last one beat you up. You See, the last one beat you up, but I'm here to help you and get you to grow up and do everything you need to do in the spirit. Amen. But you're offended at him, and when you're offended with him, you now become offended with me. Are you with Get out of sin. I'm offended. Help <laughs> <laughs> me. I have no money in my pocket. I, I can't pay my rent. Well, so hundred dollars. <laughs> you just like the last pastor. You're offended. Apostle, help me. I, I don't know what to do. I, I, me and my husband were we're we're at odds. Well, you know what? Get home and have some sex. Ooh, sorry, kids are here. Get home and, 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 and have a Get home and be a husband and wife and get out of church, get out of the prayer meeting and go home, is what I'm saying. <laughs> You'll hear about that later on. Let me apologize. Internet, sorry. That's, that's just me. Very sorry. It's apostle, pop up apostle. I do all those things, you know, radical and all stuff. All you kids, close your ears. I'm sorry. Sweetheart, I mean, well, look at your face right now. I'm very sorry. Kind of like, excuse me, rewind and back to our originally scheduled program. So Candace is on the prayer line, and she's. This is the moment when the pastor says, "Y'all pray my strength in the Lord." I don't even want to look at my wife's face. I swear. Donovan, take a picture. I'll look at it in like a year. Because I'm going to be about it. It's going to take a year for me to get delivered from this day. <laughs> Candace says, let me get back. So Candace says, uh, I just, you know, and I love the way she said, this is Candace. Uh, I just want to let you know that uh, I, I, I apologize. Uh, uh, just the way that I said something, and, and I'm like, no! Stop it! Shut up! <laughs> she's apologizing to somebody that was offended. Why would you apologize to somebody who's offended that you're trying to help with the truth? Right. 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 Why would you apologize for trying to help somebody? They're, they're the ones that got the problem. Right. But we want to play nice in the sandbox. See, 
We're afraid for people to be hurt. But you know what? When you're hurt, sometimes you get so hurt that you actually come to the point that you're ready to get free. Can you imagine Jesus saying that? Kicking over the money changer just... Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean that. I was just a little bit ticked off. I'm sorry. I used the word. I'm so, can you imagine Jesus saying that? I'm so sorry. I used your coins. I'm, oh, my God. I killed the turtle dove. I kicked it so hard his head came off. No, no. He was not apologize. And if Jesus didn't apologize, I'm not going to apologize either. Being more concerned with the way things are said. Now, I'm not saying don't use tact. Right. Right, 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 right. Not say be evil, because your demon could just manifest and you're being evil. Right, right, right. So, retaliation. And you treat you see, watch out for deliverance ministers that ministers that hide behind their own demon, thinking they're getting you free when all they're doing is releasing their demon. Oh. Alright, y'all okay with that? Yeah. Bam! Bam! Let me get you out of here. Come on. <laughs> Write this down, text it to people now, post it on Facebook, shout it from the housetop. The word of God is going to touch you. Yes. 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 Write it down. Text it now. The word of God is going to cut. It's going to cut you. You can never get to the de defective part in your body without cutting. Yep. Yes. Wow. Oh, that's good. You cannot get to the defective part in the body without cutting. Amen. You're going to be cut. You're going to be circumcised. To circumcise means to remove something. It's to remove something. It's to remove something that's unwanted. Do you want your offense? If you don't want to be offended, it's going to cut you. Don't always think that when somebody corrects you, they don't love you. Right. Right.